Okay guys, first thing I usually do is clean the chicken. For today's recipe, we're making barbecue chicken. And for today's recipe, we're using drumstick. This is about five pound of drumstick. What we're going to do right now is clean them up. I have my lime here. If you don't have lime, you can also use this one. Um, that's Timashan lemon. And you can use vinegar as well. And also you will need some salt to clean the chicken. So first thing I'll be doing is just add them on here in this bowl. Now that we have the chicken here, what I'm going to do is add the salt. Actually add a salt. Then I'm going to cut my lime and just rub the lime on there. And these limes are perfect because they're, you guys can see they have lots of juice, lots and lots of juice. And what I usually do is try to remove that part, that yellow part of the chicken drumstick. Sometimes they're stubborn and they won't come out that easily, but try your best. Now we're going to add some of this in here. Next, we're going to rub the lime all over the drumstick. Now, if you want, you can remove the skin, but I feel like leaving the skin on will help to keep the chicken nice and juicy. So we're leaving the skin on the chicken. And one thing I do like to do with the chicken is kind of poke the chicken like that. So the seasoning can get in inside the meat make it nice and tasty and be very careful now we're going to rinse the chicken all right rinse Okay guys, now I have my oven on 375. I usually cook drumstick on 375 because they're thicker obviously. If you're cooking wings, maybe 350. But for drumstick, we're going to do 375. Make sure the chicken is dry when you're adding it on here, okay? Make sure it's nice and dry so it doesn't produce lots of water only cooking it even though it will but you just want to make sure you pat it dry. Okay guys, now we're going to start marinating, seasoning this chicken. First thing I'll be doing is adding my salt. This is the salt I'm using, Himalayan salt. Now I'm adding ground black pepper. Okay. 
All right. Now we're going to add garlic powder. The measurement will be below. Check that out. And slap your mama seasoning. It's a Cajun seasoning, by the way. And I'm going to flip it over and season the other sides as well. A little bit of Old Bay seasoning. Onion powder. Paprika. And this is smoked paprika, okay? To give it some smokiness and some color as well. And we're adding some dried parsley, some nice earthy flavor. You can also add some thyme into this. I don't know if I might, I might not, I don't know. I might add some thyme. I'm adding some dry thyme in there as well. Okay, flip it over. And we're going to season the other side, like I said. We're going to mix everything together. Okay guys, we have the chicken nice and marinated. We're going to transfer it onto this baking dish. All right, but before I do, I'm going to spray it with this nonstick spray. Now we're going to add our chicken drumstick. And here, now this is the chicken. All right, I am going to bake this on three seventy five for thirty minutes. Once it's done, I am going to flip it over and cook it for another 20 minutes, all right? Okay guys, the chicken is halfway done. So now I'm going to flip them over. As you guys can see, there are juice under there, which I will pour out. Let me show you guys. I told you guys the chicken do have lots of moisture water the chicken produced its own water so I'm going to pour the water out then I am going to flip the chicken over so now I am going to flip the chicken over and bake it again for another I'll say 20 minutes So juicy. Now I'm going to put the chicken back in the oven for another 20 minutes. Now the chicken is done. I'm about to add the barbecue sauce. I'm using Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce, my favorite.
now I'm going to place the chicken back in the oven on boil for about seven minutes. Once my seven minutes is over, the chicken is ready to eat. Thank you for watching today's video guys. Make sure to like the video and also subscribe if you know. I really hope you guys enjoy this one and also try it out. If you try this out, don't forget to come back and let me know how you like it. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys soon on my next one. Bye.